How to edit a seating chart from Crossvine Designs on Etsy. After downloading your purchase template, save the template to a location on your computer. Do not select Open with Adobe Acrobat from the pop-up screen. Select Save File and click OK. The templates must be saved to a location on the computer's hard drive. Open the program Adobe Acrobat and navigate to the template on your computer. If you don't already have Adobe Acrobat, this program can be downloaded for free at git.adobe.com reader. The templates must be viewed and edited with Adobe Acrobat and will not work when opened in a browser window, preview mode, or on smartphones or tablets. The editable areas are highlighted and can be updated with your own wording. The script font is part of the template design and cannot be changed. Use the mouse to position the cursor over the names area. Highlight the sample wording and type in your names. Use the same technique to highlight the date and replace the sample date with your own wording. You have now successfully edited the top portion of your seating chart. Please be sure to save the template as you update each editable area so that your work is not lost. Each seating chart is arranged into columns. Use the mouse to position the cursor over the first column and highlight the sample wording. You can now add your own tables and names or copy and paste from another program. Please keep in mind that formatting from other programs such as Microsoft Word will also be carried over to the template. The formatting will possibly be affected, so we strongly recommend that you paste into a plain text editor, such as Notepad. After the wording is pasted into Notepad, the formatting will automatically be removed, and you may paste the wording into the template. Use the same technique for editing the other columns. Rather than using table names, you have the option to get creative and use alternate names for the tables. The seating chart can also be arranged alphabetically. Simply substitute the word table for a letter of the alphabet. Then, next to each guest name, type the number of the table that they are assigned to. It's normal for tables to become offset if there are different numbers of guests listed below each table. You now have the option to change the font size, spacing, line height, text alignment, and even text color. Highlight the text with the cursor and open the Properties panel by clicking Ctrl-E on a PC or Command-E on a Mac. The Properties panel can also be opened by clicking View, Show Hide, Toolbar Items, Show Properties Bar. The Properties panel offers many options for you to choose from. To change the color of the text, highlight the text and click the first item in the properties bar. The properties panel allows you to change the font color, the positioning of the font, and the size. The More button opens a new panel which allows you to make additional edits to the font. Line spacing provides the option of enlarging or reducing the spacing between each name. This is useful when the guest names have been enlarged or reduced. For more information, please visit our website at www.crossfindesigns.com or watch our other video tutorials.